Cardinals? 49ers. 49ers. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Cardinals. Wow. This is an oh, odd pick, what? I know it is. What? But hear me but out. But that hear doesn't make any sense. But the 49ers are going to the Cardinals are gonna be a good it. team this year. I have them going far this year. But they're coming off a Super Bowl loss. They're going to be a little bit a little bit in a sort of a... a hangover? Yeah, a little bit of a Super Bowl hangover. That's such a mess. And the Cardinals are going to come back strong and come back punching. I mean, the Rams have one hangover and like, Super Bowl. It's a real thrill. Uh, a lot of a lot of teams do it. Lot, okay, I'm not saying that the Niners Falcons had a hangover too. I, I think the Niners are going to win this game still, but the Cardinals are a good team now. The Cardinals I are mean, a good they, team, but I is, think this everyone is, not is a over game. hyping them. They are so over hyped. This is not a home game for the 49ers. People so I really think that Hopkins that is going to change going. their win total well, in like are. five games. But they the Kyler Hopkins might get them an extra one or two wins. I'm saying Hopkins is one of the best wide receivers. Kyler Murray is an MVP yeah. candidate. Kyler Murray, no, not an MVP. I'm calling it. Well, the Kyle last will be, will be interesting right. fact: the last two years, Lamar Jackson and Patrick Mahomes were both in their second year when they won it. Yep. Yeah. Kyler Murray. Is I'm telling you, he's an MVP candidate. Yeah, straight. Daniel Jones think, is also in his second year. Okay, no one cares about Daniel Jones. No, so the Giants. So yeah. I think Russell Wilson has a chance at this award. Oh yeah, but Wilson. Gets I no really love. think Russell Wilson needs that to be considered one of the best quarterbacks. But he in also gets no love. Yeah, because we're up here in the Northwest, yeah, right in the Northwest. but we're trying to bring some love back to Russ and no the Seahawks. But, okay, next right, game. Alright, what's the next game? The Buccaneers and the Saints. Oh, Ooh. wow. Tom Brady. Tom Brady. Tommy, sorry. Tom I think Brady in a Buccaneers jersey? That'll be weird to see. That'll be weird yeah, to see. Yeah, I'll be interested to see. The, the, the Buccaneers, who have almost completely rebuilt their offense in two years, gone from... The only main offensive weapon they still have left from oh 2018. The Buccaneers, who have almost completely rebuilt their offense in two years, gone from the only main offensive weapon they still have left from oh 2018 was Mike Evans. Chris Godwin's a stud. Yeah, Godwin arrived last year, of course, and then, um, yeah, with Ronald Jones, Ronald Jones last year, and now Fournette, Brady, and I Ron. think they're going to be good. Their defense is very good. I mean, it's not amazing, but it's definitely good enough to get them to a Super Bowl. I still have to go with the Saints at home, though. Drew Brees is he's he might not be better than Tom Brady, but he has a better supporting cast, especially with so, Alvin Kamara and Michael Thomas. And Drew Brees still is a, better a than Tom Brady in the league. I and the Saints are going to win this game, but it's going to be close. I think Saints. Tom Brady. Win, old. Tom Brady. It's, it's the Buccaneers winning. Did I really? I'm there. I'm on prediction. Have Buc- Tom Brady with it. Really. Mhm. And we have a change of a, a, a apparently <laughs> Levi. <laughs> Thought two hours ago wow. something different, and you see you know, this man say... thought the Giants was a potential playoff team. <laughs> the other last one afternoon. All right, Take well, this actually, man's opinion well, yeah, yeah, I, I will go. I will change my pick then to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. After hearing what I predicted, <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I definitely think though the the, Saints, no, the Buccaneers they, they're going to come out really strong. Come come out deal done. Five hours. And, and I mean, yeah, so coming off a really controversial offseason. But Tom Brady, this is his first game with I think the Buccaneers. He's going I don't to know. surprise a lot of people. I don't think he's going to be in the offseason, but this is football, not the offseason. But he may have some offseason related strength. I think they win in a pretty oh, high scoring game. He might not be in the right 35, mindset. 35 28. 35 28. 35 28. Okay. OT. Remember last year when the Buccaneers got 55 points in the game? I do. OT 31 Something. 55 45. Yeah, what's, what's our next overtime? game? Wow. Next game? Wow. Wait, in overtime? Yeah. I have I have an overtime game. I have a Lions game going. Cowboys Rams. Rams. What? Are we this for every week? Yeah, of course yeah. we are. We're going okay. to Rams. Rams Cowboys. Rams? I'm saying Rams Cowboys. Um Rams? Yeah, Rams. Cowboys. 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 I like the Los Angeles Rams this year. I like Rams too. I do, but I think the the, the Cowboys roster is really stacked. I mean, the, the, so is the Rams. I mean, you can't disagree. Yeah, oh, but, and especially with the home game. I'll in take LA. Prescott over Goff pretty much. Any Goff day. is but not, it's not necessarily quarterback. a quarterback battle. I mean, Jared Goff has went to have been to a Super Bowl, and Dak Prescott hasn't really even come close. Yes, and Dak Prescott is proven to be the better quarterback out of the two, though. But yeah. we're saying, I mean, I've, I've talked to you about this before, Drew. Wins matter more than stats. And, and running backs see, also matter more. And I see Dak. Cam Akers or Ezekiel well, Elliott? I think that Ezekiel, well, Ezekiel Elliott is good. You have to check out the receiving cores as well. Amari Cooper or Robert Woods? I, I Which prefer, one are you taking? I prefer the Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, and Tyler Higbee uh, combo because, geez. well, considering the Cowboys, who even is their tight end? Michael Gallup is Michael their Gallup other is their second. Yeah, but now they have C.D. Lamb. 
See, yeah, Sadie Lamb is a rookie, so we'll, we'll have to see how he yeah, does. Yeah, DK Metcalf was a rookie last year, too, buddy. And DK they Metcalf's had that first game was not very good. Okay, we're, we'll, remember, we'll talk about this later. So you have Cowboys, Cowboys, Cowboys. close one, Cowboys Rams. Rams. I think Rams are going to be better than people think this year. That could be one that I would not okay, want to bet Steelers, on. Okay, Steelers, Giants. Steelers. Steelers. All day. Next. Steelers. Next. Yeah, I'll be yeah. the Steelers as well. Daniel Jones has literally nothing on right. Roethlisberger. With his, Roethlisberger's a better quarterback with the left arm than Daniel Jones. And and wow. Jones a little wasted pick for the Giants. Wow. I really, he didn't have a terrible pick. He's such an average quarterback. It like pains me to see how average he is. It, the, okay, bold prediction. Giants never, ever, ever come close to a Super Bowl if they keep Daniel Jones wow. for the next I 10 agree, years. I agree, I agree. Not wow. even close. 100% well, agree. I'm going to go with uh, Cowboys will never come close if they keep Dak Prescott. What? Wow. Because People Prescott doesn't win MVP this because year. Because I'm going to say this. Whoa. Dak Prescott will be Whoa. the next. Shots fired at Dak. Dak Prescott I will mean... be the next Matthew Stafford. A quarterback who gets insane stats and everyone always thinks he's going to be great. But he can never live up no, to the expectations. No one thinks that Matthew Stafford's are going to be great. Just I mean, you guys think that. There is a reason. Every time you watch NFL, they're always talking about how Matthew Stafford, this is the year. I mean, not. Matthew Stafford gets insane stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Next, next, next. We've got to keep the show moving here. Titans, Broncos. Titans. Titans, yeah. Derrick Henry's a beast. Broncos, I'm actually going to pick Lock. the Broncos on this one. Oh At home, in the I, I could see that. Wow. I could see that. I love, I love you know, the Broncos. The Seahawks, the Seahawks lost to a five win Denver team two years ago on the opening weekend. And I I'll tell you like why. the Broncos with no Because, Gordon, because the Broncos, I love it the Broncos. is nearly impossible to beat the Broncos in September in Denver. It's one of the most difficult things to do. Is, and as also, yeah, but Levi, you have to remember who made it to the AFC Championship last year? Just tell me. It was the two teams. Yes, the Titans didn't make it. And was the Titans beating the Super Bowl winning Chiefs going into half? Yes. Okay, so then how are you losing that to a Broncos team that didn't make the playoffs because last year? as I said, there have been plenty of good teams who have gone into Denver and lost when they shouldn't have. I know, but this is not going to be one of those times. This is, I think this is going to be one of those times. Close game, 28 Ryan Henry is not as good as a quarterback as Drew Henry is going to get worn down this year for sure. All this Especially yeah. considering he cannot it's play, play. He cannot play Denver. that much. He cannot play that much like he did. Every in year. The, yeah, like he yeah. he's established himself now, and he will not get that much of the workload. I think he'll do that in the playoffs, but I think if they do that all year, he's gonna not going to work. Get yeah. injured or get tired. Or I definitely game. okay. Let's, next, Cody. Next game, last game. Seahawks Falcons. You want to say this? What last time is this? Yes, it's ten a.m. Ten a.m. I'm going to Seahawks. Falcons I know it's I know they're on the road, but the Seahawks are winning this Seahawks. game. I mean, Seahawks are really used to traveling. There's no way they're losing this game. Seahawks. I will say though, this is a really this is going to be a close game. I, I mean, say. we almost lost to the Bengals week one last year. I year. really, I was there. The as well. Yeah, and you <laughs> realize, you know, Pete Carroll in opening weekends is five and five in his ten seasons. Mm-hmm. So for as good as he's been, he's lost. I half like the Falcons a lot, but I'm going to Seahawks. Yeah. Seahawks beat Falcons in a pretty low scoring, kind of ugly game. Very similar to last year. There's definitely Cincinnati. a chance. We can look, break There's this down more. Chance. I definitely think it's going to be a close game. We're going to get within the 30, 40 yard line. What do you say is our keys to the game? We're, no, we're going to get into the 30, 40 yard line, and then we're going to turn over the ball once or yeah. twice. We're going to do that, I think, over and over again. I really think it's going to be an ugly, ugly game. I think we're going to win barely 17-14. I like a field goal winning drive. I think oh, we're going to be down and going into the end of the third yeah. quarter. And then Luke, oh, wait, Russell Wilson's like the best quarterback in the league behind Patrick Mahomes. Maybe let's give him the ball a little more. I'm going 2016 Hawks. We're going to be going. Wait, did be you losing. say he's the second behind Patrick Mahomes? Yes. How about Lamar? I didn't say that. I didn't say well, that. At one point, Seattle will, Seattle will be down 10 6. We're going to come back with a pair of touchdowns late in the game and win, beat them 2016. 2016, yeah. Yeah. Four point win by the Hawks. It'll be a solid, solid game, but it'll be an ugly first half. 27 first half. What do you guys think about what do you think our weakest part of offensive line? What do you think our oh, weakest oh, is on the Seahawks? I'm going offensive line. Our defensive line has improved so much this year. We lost Jadavian Clowney. But Jadavian Clowney sacked four people last year. I don't care what sacks. I'm going to Jadavian Clowney. He's taking doubles all the time. Seattle added 16 sacks to our offensive line. Jadavian Clowney. Takes doubles, he can take over the game. It's either O line or D line, but if our lines are bad, it's our offense. You have Jadavion Clowney. That's what I mean, Cody. I literally just With, said we lost. Jadavion. If Jadavion does as good on the Titans, does 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 any better than that does in the Titans, 
than the Seattle than the best Seattle D lineman, I would be surprised. Wow. wow. I think Jadavion Clowney, he's overrated. He always yeah, gets who injured. Who did we add other than Bruce Irvin? Oh, Last year, Rasheem Green was the leader Benson. of those sacks. Yeah, we had Benson. Benson, Benson who has eight sacks as well last year. Benson. Benson. I don't know what his first name is. But we had to do that was good. That we, like, that Clowney. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, we're from the, the tight place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're from the same last year. Okay, so we both, we all have the Seahawks, right? Yes. We all have the Seahawks. I yeah. think our receiving core got so what, much what is better. Who is one player? Key to the game. Key to the game. Russell Wilson. I'm Wilson? actually gonna I'm actually gonna go against Russell Wilson. I'm gonna say Chris Carson. If Chris Carson is truly a healthy like they say he is, the Seahawks win the game. If Chris yeah. Carson is comes back and he's not the same running back that he was last year, the Seahawks are gonna be in for a long beginning of the season until they figure out what the problem so is. So final scores, let's go. Final scores for what? The game? For the game. I yeah. said mine twenty sixteen. Twenty eight six sixteen. Twenty eight sixteen. Seventeen fourteen. Twelve point game. Alright, so Seth has a high Drew is very low. Yeah, we are running out of time, so let's really quickly touch on the Mariners for five minutes, and then we'll go back to NFL, right? Yeah, we can yeah. touch on the Mariners for a little bit. So, so Cody. Of course, Cody, <clears throat> host. <laughs> Our host is here. <coughs> okay, what? Ask a question about the Mariners. Our host is new to us, guys. What do you Stay think the Mariners are going to do this season? That was, a, that was a terrible question. Do you, think, okay, do you think they will make the playoffs? No. The Mar- okay, we're, we're going to talk yes, about the Mariners. I do. Just for a little bit. Here. I think they make the playoffs. Seattle won six in a row. They lost yesterday to the Giants in a very close very game, six close to five. Game. Our bullpen blew that, but I, mean, I wouldn't say it was their fault. Well, I mean, we got we had to use with, the bullpen in the second with, Yeah, with LJ Newsom going down, that, that's going to hurt us because I really do not want to go back to Nestor Cortez as our sixth. Started. I think that the Mariners are pretty hot. I think they've cooled down a little bit with yesterday's loss. I think they're going to barely squeeze into the playoffs. I have hope. I have <sighs> faith in the Mariners. See, the problem with the Astros Down is deep, I think they're going to make it. But we however, still have a series against the Astros, a lot more against the A's, and the Padres. And considering that, you know, we may be close to the playoffs, but we're still 11th place. I mean, Kyle Lewis and... Evan White, I mean, even if they don't make the playoffs this year, this is a successful no, yeah. year. The year is definitely successful. No matter what. This, 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 this feels so much different than like the 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013 really? era. It, it, it really feels, doesn't. It feels, feels like we're feel actually... Like it feels No, it doesn't. It feels like we're actually having a solid young team that's going to yeah. grow up, and I think we're making the playoffs, if not this year, within the next two years, 100%. Hard to predict. I mean, you guys, the Blue Jays were playing 100%. very well. The Orioles, who shouldn't be good, but the Mariners shouldn't be either, and the Tigers, who also shouldn't be good, all right in there, all chasing the I mean, Yankees. And, and there's the, that's this the COVID. Team. That's the COVID question, right? Yeah. Will the better team actually prevail? I just I think it's the interesting. Set up. I think it's very interesting that the league added three playoff spots essentially to make sure that the Yankees and the Dodgers get in because just in case they have a slow start to the season. And the Yankees and yet the Yankees are still on the verge. Aaron, of what the Yankee game. fan? What do you think about Aaron Judge going down? It's injuries. Every year it's injuries. It is injuries, yeah. and I, I I hit the Yankees with a pretty burning passion, but I will say you have to feel bad for us. Aaron Judge is a fun player I to watch, never and I wish the he could be you can't feel Judge bad for is the team. best player in the league when he's healthy. He's no, the best. I okay, best okay. Best I disagree. I strongly Maybe Mike disagree. Trout is better. Mike Trout is better. Okay. But Aaron Judge is a very good outside player. of Trout. Judge is the best player in the league when he's healthy, and three straight years he's gotten injured. Yeah. Yeah, you can't deny that. Which is why he's not the best player. Stanton, which two straight years he's gotten injured. Which is why he's not the best player. Sanchez, which last year got injured. I'm not sure if he's got injured. There's a reason why he's not in that conversation. Two years. You can't be in the conversation of best player. He signed Garrett Cole. He sucks. Every single year, though. Well, that's, Garrett that's Cole. Not, that's not an injury's fault. That's just because Garrett Cole What do you guys think of Garrett Cole right now? His season last year was was probably a fluke. I don't think he's ever going back to being that level. He'll probably make a couple All-Star games with the Yankees. Not this year. He's do you guys, not very good this year. Do you guys think the World Series go to uh, the Houston Astros? Do you think it's karma that they're not doing good? Or do you think they're yeah, a bad team? Yeah, I do think it's karma. You know, obviously they lost Justin Verlander to an injury. I they mean, lost McCullers to an injury. So they've their best pitchers. Curveball! Their best pitchers are currently <laughs> on, the, on, the, on the IL. And I think that will. Pro- I think the Astros squeeze their way into the playoffs. Probably Ugh, those dirty Astros. They kind of stole our. Mm. But if I have to make so a prediction many of the losses. World Series, I mean, what what do you think? What's your prediction? Dodgers. Yeah, the Dodgers seem like they should probably, They're winning it all. But I'm I actually think the go Rays. The Dodgers. I think Rays versus Dodgers. I'm going Dodgers. Rays, I'm, I'm going Rays versus Padres. Padres have a chance. The Padres made so many trades. If they don't make the World Series, the A's, A's are looking bad. good too. I the don't. Yeah, I think the A's are solid. I don't see the Rays in the World Series. I'm sorry.